glorious antiphonal music began to arise and I literally was catapulted into time beyond time. I don't recall seeing anything but thinking this is the closest to heaven that I will ever get before I go to the other side. That archetypical sense draws some people, that inner call. And it's given different names, and what it called me was uh, some people call it the call of the, the, the call of the beloved. Uh, follow me in a very intimate way. Now, the way I put it in sort of soppy words is I fell in love with God, but it is that call to the desert, that, that call to the inner life. But my parents used to say to me uh, when I did be misbehaved, uh, if you do this again, we will send you to the nunnery. And I said, of course they expected me to be scared and behave, but I thought, that sounds nice. Um, I was born in Tokyo, Japan, and my family was Buddhist, none of my family was Christian and I didn't know anything about Christianity but when I was 24 all of a sudden one day I felt oh I have to go to the church first looked at encyclopedia and then looked all the churches and then denominations and I thought this Anglican Church sounds good. <laughs> so then I looked at yellow pages and then said, oh, this is close to my house. So I went there. And when I went there, I thought, I just felt at home. And I felt that I have known this Anglican Church all my life. What struck, struck me was there was the one that knows me through and through and still loves me, accepts me, and I didn't have to hide anything before him. I didn't have to pretend to be somebody. I just can be myself. That was real culture shock to me. And I felt so loved. Uh, by God. And when I put my feet over the threshold, I felt as though I had stepped into an underground river of joy. It washed over me and I thought, this is what I've been fighting for all this time. I've been here 35 years, so I've, been, I've seen a lot of professions. And every one that I go through reminds me of the time I myself offered that gift to God, back to God, and through this community. And so watching her struggle to decide, is this where I belong? This is where I can flourish, is that where God wants me? And journeying in with her through all that, for me, that was the greatest joy I could share in. The liturgy was a long culmination of a lot of preparation. By the time I came to make my vow, um, I was totally committed to the life and it it didn't seem such a big step because 
uh, being the kind of person I was, the minute I entered, I felt that this was a life commitment. I didn't expect any change, but this morning I thought, oh, this is different. I had crossed some unseen, invisible threshold, and I am different from yesterday. And I felt so accepted and loved, and with all my shortcoming, all my temp temperament, all my bad temper, I am still loved and accepted. So God is telling me, you do the same. <laughs> Maybe I should feel Holy Spirit, but I thought, oh, this is lovely. <laughs> Thank you, God.